Assume that when human resource managers are randomly selected, 32% say job applicants should follow up within two weeks. If 15 human resource managers are randomly selected, find the probability that exactly eight of them say job applicants should follow up within two weeks. Now, the probability of success is at 32%. So that means P is going to equal 0.32 as a decimal. The number of trials is the amount of managers that are randomly selected and therefore we would say that n is going to equal 15 and then we want to be able to find the probability that exactly eight of them say job applicants should follow up within two weeks so exactly eight means that x is going to equal eight okay so when we're using stat crunch we're going to first select stat highlight calculators and then select binomial we're going to enter the number of trials, which is n is equal to 15, and the probability of success, p, is equal to 0 0.32. And we want to find the probability that exactly eight of them say job applicants should follow up within two weeks. So we're looking for the probability of exactly eight, which is the same thing as the probability of x is equal to eight. And then we're going to click Compute. Now let's open this up into StatCrunch. We're going to go to Stat. Select calculators and then go to binomial. We're going to put in the value of n, which is 15. We know our probability is 0 0.32. And we're looking for exactly, which is going to be the equals, and that is 8. OK, and then let's go ahead and take a look at this probability that we get. OK, so you can see what we get for our probability. If we run that to four decimal places, it's 0 0.0476. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our final result. So we would say that the probability is 0 0.0476. So thus, if 15 human resource managers are randomly selected, the probability that exactly eight of them say job applicants should follow up within two weeks is 0 0.0476. And also keep in mind that if you are using a table, table A2 in the back of the book only goes to n is equal to eight. So for n is equal to 15 for this textbook, you would either use the formula or what we just did by using StatCrunch.